Okay, so we are making daydreaming soap. I changed my mind because I needed to get some fragrance oils in and I have this and we're close enough now to, you know, spring, summer, daydreaming will work just fine. So let me get one of my, I was batching um, earlier with you, some soap oils. And then I finished with, um, batching the live water solution after that. So I've got a couple of things ready to go. Just makes it so much easier. Let me stay over here while I'm talking. It just makes it a lot easier when you're making soap if you have things batched ahead of time. So you don't, like when you're thinking about having to scoop out all of the, you know, the hard oils and things like that. It just, you tend to procrastinate a little bit more. Um, but if you do what's called master batching and you take, you know, your hard oils. And for me, it just means like setting up some of these containers when I'm doing the really big um, batches in the five gallon pails. I use my, you know, my bigger ones and I just set them up that way. But you do so, so many at once. I like to get at least five batches prepped ahead of time so that I can come down here and just kind of back them out a little bit. I need to get some of these bottles out of here. All right, so we're going to put in a live water solution. I always move that right out of the way. I never leave any of the live containers around. Just get in the habit of putting those things away immediately. And I only use the same spatula. For working with uh, my lye water too. <laughs> For those that aren't familiar with daydreaming, it is um, a perfect summer type of soap. It smells just like a creamsicle. It's orange vanilla. And the fragrance I have is really expensive to buy, but it is the only one that I really like. We have to add a little titanium dioxide to this because of the vanilla content. So I'll be right back, let me grab that. We're gonna make part of it just like a cream color because it won't be completely white because of the vanilla. And then the other half will be an orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the fragrance in now and then we'll divide it. Love the smell of this. And I like having things that I just bring out certain seasons because then customers know it's coming back, they look forward to it, they grab it, and they tend to stock up more on it. This time I usually do more of a white base and then I have um, the orange swirl going through, but I think I want to have more of an orange base this time, kind of do it a little bit backwards. So I'm actually going to make, um, put a little bit of the titanium dioxide um, in with the orange to kind of dull that a little bit because I don't want it bright. I just want it nice and pretty creamsicle-like. And then that titanium dioxide will help with some of the vanilla coloring that will make it want to go brown. So what we're going to do is put this as our base and then we'll stir the white through. Not stir it through, but pour it through. So let me go ahead and get this going.
little bit more orange than that, but we're getting there. I'm just mixing it with a little bit of oil, and I just reserve a little oil from the recipe to be able to mix with colors so that we keep the measurements the same, but um, makes it easier for them to blend. This is probably going to do it. And then I'll see if I need to add any more of the titanium dioxide in here. It smells really good. Do you guys like those creamsicles growing up? The days of the ice cream trucks. Squirrel with this. So let me bring that over to the side so that I, yeah, that looks great. It's perfect orange. It's hard to see on here, but um, it looks really good. Actually, there's a little bit right here. I want to make sure that gets mixed in. This is the perfect color. And the stores around here will be very excited to have this back in stock. It's always popular. All right, so I'm going to move this over here and get our light color going. So this one will have the titanium dioxide. And I think I'm going to just do this as an in the pot swirl, keep it simple. Um, this fragrance really wants to move quickly. I you know, worked on this earlier. It's been sitting and cooling, but it still wants to set up. So for the in the pot swirl, just goes right in. And I'll usually give it one to two little stirs around. Let's get this out of here. You can kind of see the creamsicle look. I'll push this farther so you can see it better. Okay, we're all scraped. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and that's it. Everything else goes in. Oh, so you can kind of see it in there, right? Perfect little creamsicle. Let's bring this over and we'll get it poured in. Again, I you know some of you type A personalities out there probably are driven crazy by my wrinkled mold liner, but I am who I am. I'm not going to do too much with this. Tap it down. I'm not going to put any sparkle or anything on here. I'm just going to keep it easy. Creamsicle. There you have it. And I will be back to cut it. So I'm going to cut the daydreaming now. You already watched me make this. Um, this is what the log looks like. So with the in the pot swirl, it gives a nice, just kind of creamsicle effect. And that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna use my um, single cutter today, just um, 
so I can kind of talk to you while I'm doing this rather than just cutting them all at once. I always cut the end off to use as um, samples and if you have been to my website, I have a soap sampler box so you can get 10 of the bars, the ends, and they're a decent size and sample them. So it looks good. So we'll get these cut. So today my schedule is to, um, once I'm finished here, I will go upstairs and I've already gotten a to-do list together for today. Um, so, so far I'll just kind of start you with what a typical day looks like. So this morning, um, I actually had to teach two of my private students that I keep meaning to, you know, kind of stop doing, but I've been teaching these two girls, um, for gosh like three or four years now we do English reading and writing so it's their second language and their parents have been so happy with it and their grades and all of these things that we just keep going plus I just really like these girls so I taught that today from seven to eight and then right after that I went to um the park so I'm really trying to incorporate running in my morning and the main reason for this is not just exercise it's actually for um, anxiety I get bout, bouts of anxiety I think um, I've had chronic anxiety since I was a little kid but I do get like periods where it's just like worse and there's really no reason for it it just happens so what I have figured is that instead of just like trying to suffer through it which I tend to do I'm going to really actively work on it this spring and one thing that works really well for it is exercise. So I've been doing a lot of weights and that kind of thing, um, which helps to an extent, but what really helps is to get out there and run because it's like a, it's almost like this pounding effect that kind of works it out of my system. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not just like the runner's high, that kind of thing with the endorphins. It's really the actual motion and rhythm of the running that helps me a lot. So anyway, I went right to the park today and I got on the phone. I like to talk to my mom in the morning. So um, while I was kind of walking around the pond and getting ready to go in the woods and run, I talked to her. Um, my son just got his first um, apartment after getting his first engineering job and it's really cool it's like in this old house in a, a town um, nearby and we were talking about that and you know kind of helping him to get that together which is exciting I can't wait for that actually um, so then I went into the uh, into the woods um, being in the woods and nature I feel like helps me a lot too so I ran through the woods and I don't put any like parameters on it. I'm not like I have to run two miles or I have to run for 40 minutes or anything like that. I used to do that and actually adding pressure to it is counterproductive. So I just, I just start and I stop when I'm going to stop. Um, I listen to my music and, you know, breaking a good sweat is helpful as well. So I did that. And then, um, I actually go to the library, so I'm not buying like five books a month. Um, I read every night, so um, I go through them quite quickly. So the park is near the library. I went and exchanged books, got a coffee, and came back. So now I'm down here. So I've got like 45 minutes down here to get this cut, take care of any orders I need to take care of. Um, and then I will go upstairs and go into my other office, which is in what I call the library. It's the used to be the formal living room. Um, I don't know about you, but we've never used formal living rooms. So I wanted a library. I love books. I taught literature. I wanted a place that had a wall of books that looked like a library. So painted the walls like a deep plum, put the shelves up, and that is where I do my teaching and also um, my new work and sales. So at 11 because I work Pacific Coast hours four days a week. I will start that job and it's spring break so I'm not reaching a lot of administrators right now but um, that's okay. Getting some other things done. I always have sales meetings during the day where I'm meeting with teams of educators and I really like that part of my job. 
So that is what I will be doing for the rest of the day. And my husband's leaving for Vermont for a few days. I decided to stay home because I didn't really have enough time to plan. We had friends that, that went up there to visit other friends. So I told him to just go up, take a couple days, come back before Easter. Um, so it'll just, you know, I've got to get my, my other son to physical therapy and, and we'll just go out to eat and have a relaxing weekend. Um, as far as Easter, I am, my mom and my sister actually went to Florida this year. So it's the first year, the whole family is not around and we are actually just gonna go out for brunch at a local restaurant, um, just the four of us. Um, my other son's far away, so he's not here obviously and have a relaxing day and I'm actually very much looking forward to that because I'm usually the one that does the dinners, like the family dinners. So I can relax this weekend and that's what I'm going to do. So like, you know, I'm definitely making this conscious effort in terms of um, relieving anxiety because it can be something that really interferes with your life. Um, if you are also a sufferer of it, you know, I, sometimes I feel like it's just this brain chemistry thing I was born with and I've always kind of pushed myself through it and I've done a good job of pushing myself through it, but I just don't think that people need to suffer from it. And it is, you know, a form of suffering when it holds you back from doing the things that you want to do. Um, you know, I have a lot of physical manifestations of it that are like gastrointestinal. I also get a really tight chest. That's what's been happening this past week. Almost like you can't breathe. And it just stinks, you know? Um, so the exercise is really good. Um, you know, eating a good diet, making sure I'm taking my vitamins, staying hydrated, all of these things. Um, I'm also trying to incorporate meditation, which I feel like it's a goal every year and I never really go through with it. Um, but I want to do like very specific meditations and just do them in the middle of my workday for five minutes. Um, I have a cozy chair in my office. I just want to kind of check out for five minutes and do that. And there's no reason why I can't take care of that, right? So that's it. I'm going to stop here. Um, I'll update you on how I'm doing with my anxiety progress. And we'll be back because I've got lots of soap to make in the next month or so. And I will see you soon. Um, I am almost... I'm getting really close to a thousand subscribers. So if you are watching and you like the videos and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I'm going to do a big giveaway once I hit 1000. It's been a goal for a really long time and I can't believe I'm actually getting close to it now. So thank you so much for being here and hit subscribe.